to tell me what your cell phone was doing on my floor? Annie misses Emma a lot. It's pretty much all she thinks about. And? So I wanted Annie to have a little piece of her daughter, so I took a picture of Emma. You wanted Annie to have a picture? Yeah. So you broke into my place and you stole it? Ryan, don't act like I had a choice. Excuse me? Well, you won't let Annie see Emma, so I gave her the next best thing. The next best thing for who? For Annie. She's been making major progress, OK? And I don't want anything to get in the way of that. Including the law, apparently. Well, it's never stopped me before. Well, something must be tripping you up. I mean, you left the cell phone on the floor. Man, that's not very special ops of you, is it? What can I say? Uh, maybe out of practice, so you don't mind. I do mind, actually. I want you to tell me what's really going on here. I'm just, I'm so ready to get out of this place and be with my little girl. Annie, you do realize what getting healthy means. You'll be deemed fit to stand trial, face the charges against you. It could be a long time before you see your daughter again. You understand that, right? Completely. I was just trying to make Annie smile. End of story. It's got nothing to do with you, really. You broke into my home. It has everything to do with me. I don't act like I broke in with a ski mask and tried to steal your jewelry. I took a picture. Without asking, without even knocking. What if, what if Emma came down and saw you? So what? She's seen me before. You think she'd be a little freaked out? You standing in her living room? Ryan, if you're so concerned about Emma's well-being, maybe you should help her mother get better. I don't have a psychiatric degree, Aiden. And neither do you. It doesn't take a psychiatric degree to know what's going to help most. Annie just wants to see a little daughter for a little while. We've been over this already, OK? I'm not talking about a sleepover, Ryan, but an hour wouldn't hurt. How do you know that? One hour, 15 minutes with Annie could scar Emma for life. You don't know what you're talking about. Really? Really? Because the last time I saw Annie, she, she didn't look like she was all that cured to me. She looked a little angry, and like she was hanging on to the past a little bit. You know, okay, and I'm not going to expose my daughter to that. It's hard to believe that you even loved Annie. Yeah. Well, it's hard to believe that she killed two people. But what are you going to do? Until Annie gets better, Emma stays here. Okay? Until I get confirmation from a professional, Emma stays here. You know what? You're going to look back on this time. And you're going to wish that you handled things differently. Yeah, thanks for the insight. Get out of my house. Yes, I'd like to talk to Dr. Burke, please. You can't go in there. What do you mean I can't go in there? I pay you good money so I can see her any time. I know. I I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. Annie's being transferred to another facility. But I thought she... They're prepping her to leave right now. What do you mean? She lied, Dr. Burke. They were making good progress. I know. There's nothing I can do. What do you mean there's nothing you can do? You run this place. Block the transfer. The order came from a judge. A judge? Apparently, Dr. Burke made a call. Said you were interfering with Annie's treatment. He requested she be moved. I need to see her. I don't think that's going to be possible. I need to see her. I need to say goodbye. Oh, let me... I just have to get my picture. Uh, sorry, we have Excuse to go. Me. No, I, I just need to get a picture of my no. daughter. Get your hands off me. I have a picture of my daughter. Hey, I'm hey, trying you need to calm Dr. down. Ow, stop it! Ah! 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 Everything's going to be okay.